In this week, I have used many game engines from which some were good, some cursed and we have made the same falling game again and again. From the first episode, I have been talking about a secret game engine but what is that secret game engine exactly? You might be thinking of Cocos, Flax or even Love2D. I am going to reveal the last game engine in this last episode of this mega game engine series. So welcome to the grand finale of this series and the last game engine is CT.js CT.js is a framework but with its own visual editor. You can create complete 2D games with JavaScript or the easy language called CoffeeScript, which is also kind of awesome. I mean how cool is that, a framework that works like a game engine, like a complete visual editor to make 2D games and also for free. So today, I am going to be creating the same falling block game in CT.js and we will see how cool is this game engine. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I started with making a new project in CT.js and adding some textures. In CT.js, there are textures that are just sprites and then you can create templates from them which are scriptable objects and you can write logic in each of the objects template. Then there are rooms where you actually create your levels. So I created a bunch of textures and converted them into templates so that I can start making the game logic. Then I created the left right movement and let me show you how easy it was to make a movement system. I just had to write this one line of code to make my player move. Like seriously, that's real awesome. Then I started making the block spawning mechanic. There are room events in CT.js where you create a logic specific to that level. I created the spawning mechanic in the level events and it was really easy to do so. Again with just two lines of code. Then I made the block spawn randomly in X position and boy the game was almost done. I made the player die when colliding with the crates and with that the game was finished. And the total time it took for the game to complete was 39 minutes. And some of which were me trying to figure out how to do a specific thing or reading the docs. And man the docs are real good. So that was CT.js. It has become my personal favorite game engine of course after Godot. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to try out CT.js then you can by clicking the link in the description and I recommend you try this for once. If you are a beginner like me then this game engine will be the best for you and you will be able to learn it very faster. So now which game engine actually won this challenge? Well it's not unity of course and game mega was just ok and constructs free version is limited to only number of elements you can use in your project. So it's a downside for me. With these out of the line we have Godot, Roblox, Gdevelop and CT.js. So who's the winner? For me, the winner is Godot as I really enjoy making games in it. But other than that, GDevelop and CT.js were also fun to use. So yeah, it really depends on you. It's not about which is good or bad. It's about which works good for you or not. Yeah, that's enough shit for today. Bye.